rely on wall kicks without yeah. even knowing it yeah. uh, from modern was how it uh, how, how I started thinking about it. Mm -hmm. And we're off with Baseball Boy versus off. Super Shocky. Baseball Boy finding the PC there. That goes on to Shockey's board. I mean, every single time I watch CC, it just kind of feels like if it's any sort of high-ranking match, these high-level players, it's just kind of a speed run to Phase 3. This Phase 1, Phase 2 gameplay almost seems like a formality, and I have a feeling that that's what's going to go on in this matchup. So Phase 3, uh, uh, again, correct me if I'm wrong, I yeah. just learned, Phase 3 is where the garbage becomes less predictable and doesn't give you, like, single predictable wells. Yes, pure random garbage. So the, so the way that the phases work is the first phase is at 20,000 points. When one player reaches 20,000 points, then it transitions into phase two. So the phase one garbage is going to be very predictable, very highly likely to end up everything in the same well. Once one player gets to 20,000 points, and you can see we've reached that level, then the garbage starts to become, like, kind of quote-unquote normal. Like, that's going to be your, your Tatrio garbage. That's going to be your PPC garbage. Um, um, and then once one player reaches 60,000 points, there will be another ding, and that's when the garbage becomes pure random. So it's just essentially complete cheese, and that's kind of intended to be, you know, quote unquote, the late game. Got it. And it's supposed to end the match, but for, <laughs> for top players, let's just say it has a history of not ending the match. And that's why you can see these um, extremely long TEC rounds. Even if the players aren't super high ranking, there can be extremely long rounds. But OK, and we do see Shockey getting that first point here. I mean, yeah, you said, you know, Shockey. Shockey has his t-shirt or his sweatshirt on. Trifecta champion. Very solid, consistent zone battler. Yeah, I mean, he, he you know, quite literally wrote the book <laughs> on uh, a branch of modern strategy. Yes. Oh, I'm familiar. I've I've seen the 25 page uh, ST stacking Google Doc. I've seen it. I I, I know about it. I, I I haven't I haven't taken the plunge myself. I think I read three pages. <laughs> I know about it from Scout's video on the subject okay, after okay. the trifecta yes, yes. championship. Uh, you know, shout out to Scout. Uh, mm -hmm. Strong, strong, important documentarian yes, in the absolutely. community. Right, and what Shockey does have in has like extremely experienced number. There's the ST stacking. Look mm -hmm. at him; he's ST stacking. That's what he's known for. Mm -hmm. um, is that he has a lot of really good zone knowledge, knows how to work around that zone, knows how to use it to his advantage. And we see both players starting this zone right here. I mean, you know, when both players are doing it, you can assume it's probably optimal play. I would hope so. It looks like Baseball Boy is okay. Yeah, not finding the TST. So we're going to see a 61 versus a 30 something. Wow. Yeah, you can't really do anything about that. Yeah, so the unfortunate part about both players zoning at the same time is you are kind of gambling on the fact that you're going to be able to be more efficient than your opponent in zone. And Baseball Boy did have a very nice TST setup. They didn't find the T piece or just the general P sequence in time. Um, so Shockey you know, was able to play for that zone there, mm -hmm. was confident that he was going to have the more efficient zone and it worked out for him and that's what won the round. And it was tw it was, it was it was 20 lines to I think 16 or even 18 and really even that, yeah. that little can make that much of a difference. Yeah, well, okay, so the way that zone is calculated is it is, so the number of, the amount of attack that you would have sent if that wasn't zone, plus a bonus. And that bonus is based on A, the number of lines you cleared, and B, how full the zone was when you activated it. So it wasn't just like an 18 versus, or a 16 versus a 19 or whatever it was. It was the way that they acted within zone. Mm -hmm. So it, it could be, you know, one player finds more T-spins. And Got that it. can cause a higher zone attack even if they have the same height cleared. Looks like uh, Shaki was basically able to just shrug off of even the zone mm -hmm. that Baseball Boy sent over through just raw efficiency. Mm -hmm. And now Shockey has the chance to zone here. That is a full zone. He's gonna have a very long timer here, getting some good efficiency with that Tetris high up. Does he have the T piece in time? He does. Is that a Perfectress? That is a beautiful That's an ulti. ultimate Trish. Beautiful ulti right there. Ulti, I yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm learning so much. 
I mean, do you know what the 21 is called? Uh, yeah, we just discussed this. The Curb Triss. The Curb Triss. I've done that exactly one time. Named after Kirby 703, if like, I'm not mistaken. You know, you got the lore. There you go. <laughs> There's the lore. No, I, I remember watching uh, when, when that came out and they had just mm -hmm. renamed it. Yes. Very exciting stuff. Oh, uh, it was... No, it, I mean, w when you have a situation when, like, you have green tea you know, top classic player actually working on Tetris Effect Connected, yeah. the player base and the creators converging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was great. They Okay, there's the phase three garbage. That is exactly what we're seeing. We see Shocky has put this over the 60,000 point threshold. And so that garbage is going to be coming in very messy on Baseball Boys board. One of the common strategies we talk about is simply sprinting on top of the garbage, not focusing too much on down stacking, but rather just trying to get the efficiency and just kind of forcing that damage onto your opponent's board. We see Shocky forcing Baseball Boy to zone here, but that is a full zone. There is a lot of space to work with here, and I expect Baseball Boy to find some good attack and efficiency within the zone. A little bit jammed up, but an Octoris does something, but Shocky can come back at it. I think Shocky is expecting to come back full swinging with this zone. I think Shocky is trying to go for the kill right now with this right here. And that Does is 28, 12? yeah, 28 attack out of that. Not quite enough. Um, baseball boy, that was a nice C-spin setup. Chooses to not take the TSD. I agree with that there. Finding some good uh, down stack here. One of the other things we talk about a lot with TEC is being comfortable, being cozy up at the top of your board and finding that efficiency way up high. Baseball Boy doing a good job with that. Hesitating a little bit going into the zone, but I think he finds uh, the efficiency he needs to get out of most of the garbage that, yeah, yeah. Wow. St still still some, some might come through, maybe, maybe? Okay. Couldn't quite defend at all. Yes, Shockey starting the zone with an STSD. Very aggressive quarter zone right here. Finds 15 attack out of it. That is going to mess Baseball Boy up a little bit. Finds him at the top of this board, and that is going to be the killing blow right there. Wow. Truly excellent to see two very high level players. Mm -hmm. Still a very exciting match. Absolutely. I love that every single.